Hi everyone, in this video I would like you to present you an awesome platform called Comnoco. It's a no-code platform to build your backend APIs and other crazy stuff. Uh, maybe you know Scratch, the programming language for kids. I'm, I'm still using it because I love it. Uh, well, here's exactly the same. You can assemble blocks to create your backend. Um, in this first video, I uh, do a quick intro of the platform and we build something really simple. And in another video, I will show you a way more advanced use case. Okay, so um, yes, usable, let's dive into uh, live coding. So the, the, the platform, you go to comnaco.com and you can create an account for free, no credit card ask, and you can start playing. Yeah, because for me, it's almost playing. So uh, once you are on your um, account here, you get your uh, workspaces. I get already a few workspaces, but let's create a new workspace and let's try to build something really simple. Uh, let's call this live demo. Okay, I create my workspace and that will bring me to the dashboard. And from there, live demo, I click on it. It opens my workspace and from there I can do several stuff. Um, I can create my functions, my, my blocks, okay? And then I will be able to create a trigger to expose this block as an API endpoint. Let's create something really simple. Let's create uh, something that will get a string as input and turn it into uppercase as output, okay? Really simple. Uh, let's call this to uppercase okay let me create my logics as it's called in Comnoco and uh, here I can start building my blocks start here what do I want to build an API function okay let's go there and uh, let's call it uh, string to uppercase okay let's go I save that um, these are all my incoming parameters from my request, if I need to have the URL, the headers, the cookies, okay? In our case, let's ignore that. We just define one input parameter that will be in the body, uh, and it will be a, a text that we called name. And as output, we want something called also a block text. So you see here, I can choose my basic types here. I could go for data structure if I need something complex. In my case, it's just a text. And I will call this to um, name to uppercase. Okay, that's it. And then I can start building my logic here in the logic block. So I click on plus and what can I do? Well, I could reuse existing blocks that I already created or I can use all those blocks that are here. Uh, I can do an API call. I can, uh, even if I need add some custom JavaScript, of course, I have if else, uh, loops, etc. Uh, a lot of things. In our case, we just want to transform the text here. So I will be using set text. Okay. And that brings me um, two blocks that I need to fill in the from. So where does my string come from? Um, let's start with this. So it will be this string here, name that I defined, but I want to change it to uppercase. So if I go here to text, I can see all the operation that I can do on strings. In my case, change text case. So I click this one. What do I want to do to uppercase? Okay, and what is my input? Well, I check here, that is my name. Okay, and I have to set the result somewhere. Well, I define an output parameter here, name to uppercase, and that's it. Okay, uh, well, you know what? Good news is uh, I'm, I'm, I'm done. So I can go back to my uh, dashboard, okay? And I can now create a trigger to expose this function. So my trigger, I just give it a name here, my trigger. And look at this really, really, really nice uh, interface. I love it. Um, here I can define my uh, endpoint. So in my case, it will be a post because we are passing some data, okay? So here I say my post and I want to call the function to uppercase here, string to uppercase that I just created. That's it, okay? I could uh, add a, uh, a pass here, but let's keep it simple. It's an API, yes. It could be also a webhook, could be also really interesting. But in our case, we want to expose it as a REST endpoint. I need to add some authentication because security is important, you know? That's why we are doing no auth. <laughs> just to keep it simple, I select a service user, okay? I will go for Sebi, 
okay that is an existing service uh, server user okay there's one more thing that i need to do before it's uh i need to add sebi uh, i need to add the environment that i just have created live demo cool there we go so i think we are ready to 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 um to deploy our our application i will do this active on publish that means once it's published make it also active okay uh, let me go to the rocket and publish the workspace save all changes and publish and in a few seconds my endpoint should be available it worked that is really nice i can go here to my monitor um, screen and i can see that my trigger is running there's no request yet but let me grab here the public endpoints and i can go here with my little tool to send stuff and my body's JSON, and we said it's a name, and it's Sebastian, and I will be sending that, and I should get in response my name in uppercase. So let me send this, and there we go, name to uppercase Sebastian. You saw how easy it was. Um, if I go here, I can also get the API specs of my of my endpoint okay i can try it out here with swagger uh, or open api now i was called i love it so this is really a quick intro um in the next video i will show you way more complex stuff uh, where you can integrate ai databases and etc thank you very much bye bye